Hi, my name is Gan Pirit Patekrim Pakhom, number 7. Welcome to Storytelling. Today I'm going to tell you about Aladdin as his magical lamp. Chapter 1, A Magic Uncle. There was once a lazy boy named Aladdin. His dad, who had turned a family business, died of worry. Aladdin's mother was in despair. One day, Aladdin was messing around as usual when a man came up to him. Aladdin, he cried. It's me, Uncle Abanaza, your father's long lost brother. I didn't know I had my uncle. I have been away for many years, said the uncle. That evening, Aladdin's new uncle invited him to the supper. When he heard that Aladdin didn't have a job, he bought him a fancy store to run. Aladdin and his mother was very happy. Neither of them guessed Abanaza was really a wicked magician. The next day, Abanaza took Aladdin to the long walk out of the city. Here we are, said his uncle. He lit a fire, threw some powder on it and said some strange words. A trapdoor made of stone appeared in the gra grass, grass. Aladdin was astonished. His uncle could do magic. Under this stone, there are many treasures. But I only want one, said Abanaza. Bring me the lamp. But uncle... No but. Take this ring, it will protect you, he added, pushing Aladdin down the steps. Aladdin went through four rooms of gold into a garden of fruit trees. The fruit sparkled like pieces of glass. He saw the lamp, stuffed it into the, his pocket, then picked a handful of pretty fruit. Hand me the lamp, cried Abanaza from the, the entrance. But Aladdin had taken too long finding it. Abanaza thought he had been tricked. How dare you! Keep the lamp for yourself! Before Aladdin could answer, there was a loud thud and everything went dark. Chapter 2 Two Genies Aladdin was trapped. It was cold, dark, and very spooky. He rubbed his hand to keep warm. Suddenly, a huge man rose came in front of him. I'm a genie of the ring, he boomed. What can I do for you? Wow, said Aladdin. Get me out of here, he shouted. In a flash, he found himself outside of the grass. He rushed home to tell his mother what had happened. A Vanessa can't be my uncle. He did magic things and tried to kill me. He cried. You and your stories, said his mother. Now I want you to what do you want for supper? I will sell that old lamp to buy some food. She started to polish the lamp and jump back in the fight as a giant man floats out. I am the genie of the lamp. Your witch is my command. Do you have any food? asked Aladdin. I'm starving. In an instant, a huge feast appeared on a silver plate. The food and wine lasted for a week. When it had gone, Aladdin sold the silver plates. I would give a good price. My price is better. Now life was easy. If Aladdin or his mother wanted food, Aladdin just rubbed the lamp and asked the genie. One day, Aladdin was at the market selling plates when he saw some sparkling juice. They are just like a glass of fruit. I picked one out in my cave. He thought in amazement. He ran straight home, found, found the jewels he, he had. Chapter 3 The Sultan's Daughter Early one morning, there was a command from the Sultan. Princess Bada al Badu will go to the public baths today. Everyone must stay at home. Aladdin wondered what the fuss was about. He hid at the bath so he could see the princess for himself. When she lifted her veil, Aladdin almost fainted. 
the only female he had seen before was his mother. But Princess Bada was beautiful. He skipped home with starry eyes and silly smile. Whatever was matter, asked his mother. I'm in love with the Sultan's daughter. Besides, I must marry her. His mother laughed, but Aladdin was serious. If I don't marry father, I will die, he said. He begged his mother to ask the Sultan for his daughter. Take him this juice as a gift, he added. The Sultan will never agree, cried his mother. But she was very worried about her son, so she did as he asked. The Sultan lived in the Grand Palace. On her first visit, the Sultan didn't even look at Aladdin's mother, but she went back again and again, until finally, he spoke to her. Why do you keep coming to my palace? She told the Sultan about her son's love for Princess Bada. We are, we are not worthy of your greatness, she mumbled. But here is a small gift. Hmm, Bada does need a husband, the Sultan said. But you said my son could marry her? Cried the man beside him. The man was a powerful lord called Vizier. He whispered something in the Sultan's ear. Then the Sultan turned Aladdin's mother. Your son can marry daughter in three months' time, he said. I'm going to marry princess, said Aladdin. I don't trust that Vizier, said his mother. Chapter 4 The Wrong Husband Two months later, Aladdin's mother was in the city. Everyone was take, talking about royal wedding. Princess will marry Vizier's son today, shouted a herald. Aladdin's mother rushed home to tell Aladdin the bad news. He was very upset until he remembered the genie of the lamp. He ordered the genie to disturb the couple that very night. Put the wiser son out of his coat and bring Princess Bada to me. At midnight, the genie brought Bada to Alan's house and left the wiser son in the dark lamp street. Help! I won't trust you, said Aladdin. You are safe with me, said Aladdin softly. Before sunrise, the genie returned Bada and the wiser son to their room. What's wrong? asked Bada's parents at breakfast. You look awful. Princess Bada kept very quiet. That evening, the wiser son prayed for a peaceful night's sleep. But at midnight, the genie came again. After another cold night on the street, the wiser son had had enough. I'm sorry, Sultan. He said your daughter was wonderful. I can't hope with, I can't cope with this horrible nightmare. Ah, uh, well, it wasn't mean to be with Father Sultan and he ended the marriage. Chapter 5 Aladdin gets married. Before long, Aladdin's mother went back to see the Sultan. Tell your son and send me more juice, he told her. I want 40 plates full, he went on. Carried by 80 servants dressed in silk. Only then can Aladdin marry Bada. The genie managed it easily. Within an hour, a long procession was on its way. The Sultan couldn't believe his eyes. Tell your son he can marry my daughter right away, he told Aladdin's mother. But first, Aladdin wanted, ho wanted a home for Bada. He described his perfect palace to the genie and genie built it overnight. Marble floors, jewel in the walls, said Aladdin. Aladdin rode the Sultan's palace dressed in his finest clothes. The wedding day began with music and dancing and finished with feasting and fireworks. 
That evening, Bada went to her new home. She was delighted. Aladdin was the most handsome man she had ever seen and Nathalie was the best in the world. Chapter 6 A Banaza Returns Far away in the desert, a Banaza learned of Aladdin's good fortune. He must have escaped the lamp, he snailed. He went to Aladdin's city to find the lamp. New lamps for old, he shouted. New lamps for old. Bada heard the shout from the, her palace. That sounds good. She thought and found an old lamp to give him. A banana ran to a quiet corner and dropped the lamp. What can I do for you? asked the genie. Take me, the palace and the princess to the middle of the desert, said Banasa. Later that morning, the sultan looked from his window and nearly fainted. My daughter, my palace has gone, he said. He thought Aladdin had tricked him and sent some soldier to arrest him. Aladdin returned from a hunting trip to find a group of soldiers and no palace. He was just as surprised as the sultan. Don't worry. I will find your daughter, he promised. You had better or else you stay, said the Sultan. Aladdin clasped his, clapped his hand together in despair and the genie of the ring appeared. Oh, I have forgotten about you, said Aladdin. Please, please help me. I can't bring Bada to you, he replied, but I can take you to her. Second la seconds later, Aladdin was beneath Bada's window. A wicked man tricked me. Don't worry, Aladdin called. I have a plan. Agree, agree to eat with him tonight. I will sneak in with some poison and you can put in his wine. A banana was so busy gassing at Bada. He didn't see her poison and drink. After one sip, he fell to the ground and he died. Aladdin searched the palace for his lamp. One which later, he and Bada were home. Chapter 7 The Evil Brother But they still weren't safe. Abanasa had an evil brother and he wanted revenge. The brother dressed up as a Fatima, a holy woman. He stood outside Aladdin's palace pretending to heal people. Bada was very excited to see Fatima and invited her inside. What a lovely hall, said the fake Fatima. But if you hang a row rock stake from the dome, it will be even better. The rock was an enormous bird which laid heel to white eggs. Bada loved Fatima's suggestion and asked Aladdin, no problem, he said, and called the genie of the lamp. Bring me the rock's egg. What? Anything but that, wailed the genie. If, if you ask for such a thing, I must kill you. But I know it wasn't your idea, he went on. Fatima is really a banana bouncer in disguise. He wants you dead. Aladdin was shocked. He had to think fast. Oh, my head so sore, said Aladdin. He asked Fatima to heal his headache. As the evil brother came closer, Aladdin grabbed his dagger and killed him. With no more evil men to brother them, Aladdin and his brother were safe. In time, Aladdin became Sultan and his mother became a grandmother. They had all they could wish for. So the lamp and ring were left in a drawer. Who knows? The genies may still be there today. Thank you for listening to me.